Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm going to do your August 28th through, through September 3rd tarot reading. This is a weekly reading. Whatever comes up, comes up. I want to thank you all for the support and the subscribes and the comments and the likes. So the first card we have um, something maybe to do with children or um, something from the past, something maybe from when you were a child. Here, then we have uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Then we have you, which would be Capricorn, Taurus, uh, Virgo. But this is a Capricorn and this is a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius person. Um, the skin is Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Then we have Aquarius, so we definitely have some signs up here. But anyway, um, it looks like it's a pretty good beginning. I mean, it's a pretty good week so far, just from these five cards. It looks like there's some nostalgia. Maybe you're thinking about your childhood. Maybe you're thinking about your parents. Um... It looks like there's some excitement going on. Um, it looks like it, there's a new discovery. Perhaps something is going to come to light that uh, makes you feel hopeful. Maybe it has to do with love. Maybe you have this fire sign uh, in your life or coming into your life. You know, and it's really making you feel like uh, you have some kind of emotions for them. All right. Uh, I see that you're feeling pretty stable, which is great. Um, and you're probably feeling pretty generous. And it just seems like it's a really good week for you. I think um, and you're focusing on work a lot. It's probably pretty busy. You're feeling hopeful for the future. I think there's some good, positive, loving feelings. Um... Hmm. perhaps you want to give some love to somebody you know maybe you just have a lot of love to offer right now maybe you've been focusing on your work maybe you want to offer love and resources I mean I don't know but it looks like you're being pretty generous this week um Somewhere. You're feeling pretty, pretty generous, but, of course, there's a but. Perhaps there's something that is going to come to light or is coming to light that, uh, makes you understand love maybe even a little bit more okay because it looks like you're taking some time to think about something you know it's just a time of it's almost like a time of sorrow but it's a healing time of sorrow okay so it looks like perhaps you're just you're just working 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 but and you're building your own financial foundation but you're doing what you have to do to get through that but at the same time you have these thoughts going through your head about love okay so you're working 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 you're building your foundation and you're pretending to bury yourself into that and you are burying yourself into that but you have these thoughts about love about true love and um but for some reason you're just you're not going there i'm not sure not sure why. Um, I see that you want to offer love to somebody. I think that you do. But I see for some reason you're feeling like not good about it. You're not feeling good about it. You're feeling like, you know, I, I'm... I 
I'm comfortably stuck. Okay, you're comfortably stuck in a situation. All right, here this is this guy is about control. He's about power, control, authority, leadership. Um, Now this is an Aries. Maybe you're stuck in a situation that you don't want to be stuck in. You know, maybe you're not comfortably stuck. You know, maybe you're burying yourself into work because you, you're stuck somewhere that you don't want to be because you want to offer love someplace else. Maybe you don't want to be stuck in work. But you are, so you can't really give your time to a new love. But there's definitely hope up here with your wishes being fulfilled. I mean, maybe you have a choice between two people. All right. Um, maybe it's time to make a decision on who you want to offer love to. Maybe it's time to make a decision on where you want to focus your time. Because I see you spending a lot of time at work. Work, 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 work. You know, I see you worrying about the situation. You're definitely worrying about something this week. You're worrying about, maybe you're worrying about some truth coming out. I think there is some truth that's going to come out, but I think that this truth is going to be, uh, I don't know, I think it has to do with more than one person. I think this truth that's going to come out has to do with more than one person. If it hasn't come out already, I think it should have came out already. But if it hasn't came out already, you know, I think it's going to come out. And it might make you feel like um, you're losing control, okay? Because you're worried about it. You're definitely worried about it. Maybe you've been a little too generous in love. And that's why you're worried about it. Maybe you've been too generous and, and you're afraid to let go of that control. Maybe somebody used you in the past. I think you have a choice between more between two people. I do. Maybe you're stuck in a situation because of children, but you really don't want to be there. Maybe you, you haven't found this other partner because you're, you have children and you can't right now. Or maybe you're with a partner that you have children with, but you're not in love with them. Maybe you are in love with them and they're not in love with you. I see that you're stuck in a situation and there might be children involved that's affecting your future in love. Maybe you're stuck in a, in a relationship that I don't know where this is coming from. Now, it doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be that, because I don't see, you know, there is another person, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, okay? Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius that might want to offer you some love, or you might be falling in love with them, or you might be with them, okay? But I see you focusing a lot on work. I see you needing to make a decision. I see that some kind of truth is going to come out. It might involve, uh, you know, a third party situation where you might feel like you've lost control and you do not like to lose control. Okay. And I see that you have been pondering over it and it's been causing you some stress and you feel stuck and you probably feel stuck because of some, you could feel stuck because of children. Um, I see that you you have love to offer and you want to offer love someplace else. Maybe you're giving too much. Maybe you give um, pretty generous, generous, genuine. You're generous, okay? I see that you are being very generous this week. Um, 
And you know, you have the opportunity. There's a lot of hope here. You have the opportunity for your wishes to be fulfilled. That is in this reading. Okay? Justice again. Truth. What did we talk about this last time? Something about the truth. Which causes you to start a new phase. A new phase of your life. Some, this is like a, a breakup card. Crying over a loss. You know what I mean? Staying stuck in a situation. It does. It will impact you finding your soul. Finding your other half. Finding your partner. It will. But I think that... You know, you definitely have to choose if you if this is a third or they, you know what I mean? Somebody has to make, there's decisions here for sure, absolutely. Somebody has to make a decision. And I think that there's been a lot of investment and a lot of time put into something, okay? But it's time for a new chapter, a new long-term chapter in your life, okay? Something that you have uh, deserved. It's something that you deserve. Seven of Cups. Like I said, I think there's there's choices. Somebody has other choices. Okay, but they're they're stuck in a situation so they can't move forward. Alright. But I think uh, the other there is another choice, and one of them is uh the ultimate person, the ultimate mate. Now, I'm not sure who that is, but one of them is because I consider this a soulmate connection. This is the Two of Cups, and I consider it as like a soulmate union. So I think that, you know, one of the people in your life is the one, but I think it's more than, I think you have more than one choice. Um, this is some kind of partnership. Could be with a Libra, could be with a fire sign, which I already named off. Um, could be with Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I see we have Libra a couple times too. Um, anyway, you have the opportunity for an exciting new beginning with somebody. All right, exciting where your wishes can be fulfilled. Your emotional wish wishes, okay? Emotional fulfillment. But I see that you're still stuck in a situation which you're crying. Like, you're not really literally crying, but you're holding on to, all right? And if you're thinking about that too much, you know, it's impacting the, the new beginning. But the new beginning is right around the corner because that world card is there. The truth is coming out about something. And I think it has to do with a third party situation. And I don't know if um, it, you know, changes your mind. You head in another direction. All right. Maybe there's not really a third party situation and it's just an illusion and that's what the truth is. And the truth comes out that it's not really a third party situation. Seriously, that could be it. Could all just be an illusion. But I do see that there's something keeping you stuck. There's something keeping you stuck in a predicament that you're not really stuck in. Okay? That's what I see. And you see this, this guy, he's by himself with the children. So, you know. But And there's offerings of love over here towards somebody else who might be his soulmate. So, I mean, there could be... A situation that you want to go offer love 
to somebody else, but you can't because you're stuck in a situation. And it could have to do with children. So, that's what I have. 